Who loves when people say, I want to think about it? I want you to call me back. I'm not ready to make a decision. Majority of the time, I can still get them to make a decision on the first appointment. Would you like to know how? I can save it for later. If... Okay, good. It's called the no callback close. I heard Brian Tracy use it about a decade ago when I first started listening to audiobooks. Like everybody has said, serious people take their profession serious. They learn, they listen, they engross. I mean, they, they know that someone knows what they need to know. So I listened to Brian Tracy's first ever book I ever listened to or read, The Art of Closing the Cell. I would listen to it in my car like crazy. Every CD, all day, every day. And in that book, he talks about how he's going He's going to all these homes and selling, and everybody's, he's a new salesperson. Everybody's like, I want to think about it. I want you to call me back. I'm not sure. And he's thinking, oh my goodness, I have a gold mine. Everyone's going to call me back at once. I'm not going to handle all the business. I'm not going to know what to do. And wow, things are going really well. <laughs> Who else thought that as a new sales rep like me? Yeah. What he quickly learned. I want to think about her. I want you to call me back as polite customer speak for goodbye forever. We will never meet again. <laughs> so as he did, and, he, and, and what he did was he did this thing called a no callback close. I've used it numerous times. I've trained on it and heard other people use it with success because it works. There's a non-aggressive version and an aggressive version. Are you guys more non-aggressive or aggressive, you think? You think you're aggressive? We'll find out. Okay. All right. So the non-aggressive version, I was sitting with an agent. Actually, it was a veteran agent a long time ago. When I was listening to this book and I was using everything and I was trying everything, I'm like, man, I'll, I'll do anything. And we were sitting in a home with Mary in Niangua, Missouri, little bitty town. And we get to the end of the presentation, and the veteran agent thinks he's training me. Okay, he's about to, he's about to learn, though. <laughs> and he said, we showed the options. She's like, man, this is a, this is a big decision. Oh, it's like, and she said, what? I need to think about it. I'm like, perfect. I actually get excited. I love hearing that now. So, so what I said, which is weird, right? So what I use in front of a veteran agent in a home is, and I said this, and I, back then I was using the non-aggressive version. Okay, I've, I've grown up since then, all right? <laughs> the non-aggressive version, slightly. The non-aggressive version sounds something like this. Miss Betty, I understand. Always agree, right? However, we have a, unfortunately, we have a no callback policy in our office. We get along perfect. This makes absolute sense for you to do. You're getting, in this case, more coverage for the same amount of money and getting a bunch of cash value back in your pocket. You need it, you want it, you can afford it. Why don't, why don't you just take it? And you should have seen the veteran agent's eyes. He's like, what the freak did he just say? He's probably really like, I hope it works, though. And she says, so remember it like it was yesterday. She's sitting in a recliner. I had already moved over on my knees beside her in the recliner because that's what you're supposed to do. And she said, well, if I can't call you back, then I guess I got to take it. And she did. $300 a month for final expenses, pretty good. And most people would have done what? You take as much time as you need. That's the non-aggressive version. Who wants the aggressive version? You sure? Are we still awake? You with me? You with me? All right, here's the aggressive version. Okay? The aggressive version is similar with a twist. You ready, Marlon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you said, I don't know. 
<laughs> you are. All right, so here it is. You ready? Okay, so, Miss Betty, I can understand why you want to think about it. Unfortunately, we have a no callback policy in our office. And the reason that's in place is because we've had people in the past say they're going to think about it. They never actually think about it. Six months goes by, they pass away while thinking about it. And their family, who do you think their family blames for not helping them make a decision when they should have? Me. I'm not letting that happen again. You are, we get along so well and, and you are so important to me that I'm not letting that happen. You need it, you want it, you can afford it. It makes absolute perfect sense. I'm going to help you get qualified. What's your full legal name? You like that? Thank you. Hey, who's going to try that? Okay, 12 of us. Who else? All right, aggressive or non-aggressive? All right, I like this. It's a, it's a good crowd, okay? Got about 11 minutes. All right, I'm telling you, the first time you use it, and I realize you can't, you know, Nate's strict on the phones, all right? Later, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram, add me as a friend on Facebook, whatever. And the first time you use it, and it works, let me know. Okay? I would love to hear that. Because it will. If you use it right, it will. I promise. Another thing I want to talk through real quick is I'm a numbers guy. Who else is a numbers person? Okay, good. Thank you. Who... In this room, selling insurance made up over $100,000 in 2019, all right? And it's, it's okay if you didn't. You're going to this year, okay? Good. So, what's the best way to figure out how to make 100K and to go do it? Learn from someone that is doing it. Okay, good. Good. What I like to do is I like to do the math. I want to know what I need to do to make that a reality. So let, you, can do, you, you want to do some math together? Yeah. So that from the rest of the year, you know what to do, and then it's up to you whether you do it or not. It's not on me anymore because you actually know how to go and do it. Okay? So I'm going to use, I'm going to use, what's the most common number that ever, and I already gave it to you, but I'm going to ask anyway. What's the most common number that every new insurance agent wants to make? $100,000, there's no rhyme or reason. Everybody wants to make 100 k though, right? I was the same way, so it's okay. So let's use $100,000. We're going to divide that by what we feel is the average APV for a final expense policy. Now, I'm going to be conservative, and I have data to back it up. It's about $61 a month. That's $732 per year. So let's divide 100K divided by $732. Somebody do that for me. Should be about 136 or something like that. Oh, I'll, I'll use mine then. Sorry, Nate. There you go. Okay, do do it. Perfect. Thank you. All right, so 136 policies. Who thinks they can write 136 life insurance policies in one year? I know you can, whether you believe it you can or not. You can, okay? So now, let's take 136 divided by 50 weeks. I'm going to give you two weeks of vacation. Who's cool with two weeks of vacation? Yeah, me too. Or, uh, maybe, maybe you're aggressive. Maybe you don't need vacation. So, so what's that number, sir? Does that surprise anybody? 2.72 policies per week. Let me say it again. 2.72 <laughs> policies per week. Nate's cleaning out his ears. <laughs> right? 2.72. Let's round up to three. Wonderful idea. So here's what we're going to do now. Let's call it three, I'll just write apps, applications, that's shorter. 
So three a week. What's the average closing rate when someone sits in a home? Say you sit in with 10, how many, not, not Nate Offert or Marlon, <laughs> but if you sit with 10, about how many people will you close typically? Six. You, you want to be conservative? You want to call it five? 50%? New agents can close 50%. All right, so we'll be conservative. I don't want you to think I, these are your numbers, right? This, this isn't mine. None of this is. So let's take that divided by 50%. Close. Six sits per week. You need to sit down with, say it with me, six people to make $100,000. When I come back in a year and ask that question, I expect a lot more hands to be raised. I really do. I'm serious. Okay? So, thank you. So now, let's take it a step further. How many people, let, let's just say that you set 10 appointments. About how many will stick and you will, they will be at the home and you'll sit down with them? Okay. I'm going to use two-thirds to be conservative because I've seen anywhere from 60 to 80% as well. Okay. I'll be conservative again. So, divided by 66%. Sit rate brings us to nine set appointments per week. And they say this business is hard. <laughs> and they say that 9.2 out of every 10 fell. Who, who can set nine appointments a week? I'll move in and help you if that's what it takes. I'm telling you. You can set nine appointments a week. I was doing it cold calling. They give you this stuff called leads now, where people are like asking for insurance. It's weird. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Which we just happen to generate over 100,000 leads a month in our companies. We have five companies now, because I'm an entrepreneur. I can't quit starting freaking companies. And across those five companies, we do over a half a million a month. Leads, marketing, training, coaching, and our 8% Nation Conference. And what I did my first year is I did the math. So I have a, like I do for everything, triple S system every week. Set Sit, sell. In your case, set nine, sit with six, and sell three. And if you want to change the numbers and make them bigger, I would do that. What I did as a new agent was I tried to hit this. I tried to set 15, sit with 10, and sell five. I was on a lower comp rate. I didn't know what I was doing. I could, you know, couldn't spell the word insurance, no product knowledge, couldn't sell. I was horrible. I was good with people, but that's what I strive to do every single week as a new insurance agent. I got a few more minutes, and I want to ask you guys real quick, what, what do successful people do each and every day? Let's just name a few ideas. That's good. I like that. Work on themselves every day. Yeah, they do. So, there's a few things I do every day because I want to be the best version of me that I can be. Who else wants to be the best version of you that you can be? Good. Good. So, I'm not to Marlon's level yet, but I do get up between 5 a.m. and 5.59 a.m., which is called the 5 a.m. club by some friends of mine in uh, Florida. I work out every day. Went to the gym and ran 15 minutes this morning. And I write down my goals every single morning. Now, you've heard that a lot today. And I also either read or learn or watch something to get better and to become, a, as, as, as Will Smith says, a, a master of my craft. Because I'm 29. When I'm 39 or 49... 
or 59, or 69 like Nate, or... <laughs> I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want to, but I don't want to say, well, I could have done this, or I, maybe I should have actually tried, or maybe I should have read this book, or maybe I should have worked out, or maybe I should have got more serious, maybe I should have woke up earlier, maybe I should have listened to the audio 200 times. So I want to challenge you to do whatever it takes to succeed. I'm of the mindset that anyone in our industry can succeed. Some will, some won't. So what? I finish it with who's next. Nate's got shuck, shuck them or something back there. But <laughs> Some will, some won't. So what? Who's next? A lot of you are talented enough to make $100,000. A lot of you know more about insurance products than I do. But we'll be, what will be the difference maker between the winners and the losers in this room is some will just take it slightly more serious than others. So I want to challenge you for a second to take it a little more serious in 2020. I believe everyone was meant to do something great. I believe you can and will earn $100,000 in 2020. I do. And if you believe me, let me hear it. Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food? I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that. Grab the books. I'll see you over there. When you read a book, when you go to an event, when you listen to a book, when you go to a mastermind, when you buy a university,